Oh, we have fun la. I don't know who would say this on a daily basis. Really sorry. Wow, it's been a long time since I've done a video in this sweater. But anyways, hey guys, welcome. Welcome okay, to my channel. Why is it so hard to say it? One time. <laughs> hey guys, welcome. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a language related video where an IBHL Chinese B student takes on Duolingo and see how well Duolingo teaches Chinese. And I don't know how many of you would know this. Probably nobody because I've never said this before. But I am using Duolingo to learn Korean as well as using other sources on Instagram. And I self-teach myself Korean at the moment. And uh, yeah, it's been a great journey so far. I have not shown you any of my Korean, but we'll get there. A bit about my background. Um, I am Singaporean and I have spoken Chinese and learned Chinese for the past 19 years of my life and I love Chinese as you know um, Chinese is my absolute life and soul and I absolutely love Chinese with my absolute life and uh, I'm a Chinese nerd and I am aiming to release a Chinese diary-ish poem book by the age of 21 so yeah and I took HL I took IBHL Chinese B and got a 7 in it so that's my absolute proudest achievement so far. <laughs> yeah, so let's see how good my Chinese actually is. And I don't know, I might get a shocking revelation after this, but let's see if IBHL Chinese 7 is actually a real 7, and let's see if it actually paid off. So let's go. Okay, we'll start from scratch. Huh? Let's go. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> huh? Ni hao. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. I was just gonna say. Okay, the thing Ni. about the thing about Duolingo that's really helpful is that you can actually hover hover I started doing doing Duolingo English, but you can hover over the words to see what it means and it really really helps when you're a total beginner. So yeah, that's something that I really like for Duolingo Korean as well. So yeah, just put it out there. How? The thing is, right, with this, like, how am I supposed to know that how is actually like this word how? and not... I mean, you would know, but like, you would have to click and really guess everything to eventually find out, which is probably not the best way to do this. And did I say this before, but I currently tutor Chinese to people. Oh yeah. um, how I wouldn't, if when I tutor Chinese, I would, and you're a total beginner, I would start by learning pinyin, which is hanyu pinyin, which is like what I call the seesaw, because it has four different um, tones and looks like a seesaw. Which is what I learned when I was younger, but yeah. So how would I suppose? How am I supposed to know that how translates to how? You know. Anyways, you would have to really like click every one to really find out. And I don't know if that would. To me, it would hinder the process of learning. But to some other people, it might actually help you to increase your vocabulary and you would be able to figure out different words faster and you would be able to write it down and really like know more words in a shorter period of time but anyways moving on let's finish this and then we'll move on to the next one i'll speed this up for you Ni hao. Ni hao. thank you it should be perfect is it really loud Thank you. Okay, so that's first module done. I'm gonna go and go down to the checkpoint and see how hard it actually gets. Okay, let's test my test out of 10. Pass the test to jump ahead. 
You want to make it easy for you though. Really? Mm. Let's go. Okay, this is actually a... <laughs> okay, Chinese lesson with Ching Ching 101. E actually, it, it translates to... It relates to <clears throat> anything in the, med in the med medical field. So if you say Yi Sheng, it means doctor. And if you say Yi Yuan, it means hospital. But anyways, that's it. Moving on. Uh -huh. Ma is kind of like an expression for... It can be used as Shema, which means what. And it can also be used as um, a expression to express your concern and if you're asking Zopmolo, which is a song by Eric Cho but oh god I absolutely love him but um um Zopmolo would mean like what's wrong so it's kind of an expression for to express your concern in a way why is this so long? Okay. I will speak this up two hours later I think that's what's really special in a way where um, ma can mean ma to, which means the oh my god what's the English for it? Yeah. harbor and then if you're talking about a QR code you can also say like QR ma which means QR code so it can be used like in different ways and um, the thing with Chinese that's really interesting is that if you cover the right left side of the word <coughs> this word it actually means horse, and horse has the same pronunciation as this word, so it, it kind of makes it easier but also more confusing in a way, but it's also how I teach my students to remember words for spelling. For spellings, if they have spelling tests coming up, so yeah, that's what I do. I break it down into left and right side for them to remember it. E e e easier. It makes memorizing the words a lot easier and it allows you to really understand the word. Okay, since we talk about the left side, so about the, since we talk about the right side, so about the left side, shi is stone, so stone plus horse kind of gives you um, harbor, um, both key side vibes. <laughs> But yeah, that's how the word kind of comes about and if you guys don't know already, Chinese words actually came about through drawings, so I'll leave a traditional, like an evolution of the word ma on top. Next. <coughs> yeah. Ha. Ha. Ga. Ah, okay. Now it comes to, um, Sentences. Are they students? Okay, when it comes to question words, we always like to add ma or words that kind of express your concern. Ma, ma, and na. Like all these kind of like words kind of express like your concern. Like in Korean, it would be ka, which is just a double consonant with that ah. Uh, Thing, thing with Jigi. So yeah, same applies and Korean actually came from Chinese so it's why it's kind of similar but that's out of topic but anyways, there you go. I don't think I say this on a, on a daily basis but this means $90. <coughs> Do I put it in? Numbers or do I write it in words? I mean, that works. It says Niman, so it's supposed to be you guys. Niman is usually for more than one person, so I don't know what's wrong with that. It's not actually another correction in my opinion. Since they're asking for Niman, it's more than one person, so if they were to ask for Ni, it would be the answer that they gave would be correct. But since they're asking for Niman, my answer is correct. But moving on. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna have like a huge fire too like at the end of this. Okay. Thank you. I have earned one lingot. Thank you. Okay, since we've like kind of gone, let's do a checkpoint. Who says Erbai? Oh well, um, yeah, that works. <laughs> 200. 100. It sounds really weird when you say 200. I normally say 200. That's a yeah. I don't know if anyone actually says 200 in um in um what's it called spoken language. We we normally say 200, which also means 两 also means two. By the way, so I don't know. I really don't know. 200 200 sounds a lot better. That's just me. Okay, moving on. <laughs> these numbers and these like money stuff is driving me nuts. Eight dollars. Oh, see? Oh, you know what? Let's actually move down to like the the. Yes. Okay. Let's go. <sighs> okay, so maybe it's different when it's in terms of Singapore context because in Singapore we tend to say like 十块钱 or like 两块钱 which means like two dollars and ten dollars respectively I mean ten dollars and two dollars respectively but I mean like that kind of works as well like I've been using that for like the past 19 years of my life and it works <laughs> and uh, yeah I've been able to live and live well so this is just a bit weird in my opinion like you're basically translating it you're not really translating it you're just putting the pinyin of yuan into the the answer into, into English um, what's it called alphabets but yeah, if I were to make the answer sheet, I would say it's $10. Yeah, because I think that's a more accurate translation of it. But if Duolingo says it's 10 yuan, so be it. I mean, it's not that wrong. Okay, you know what? Let's restart. I've lived in seven countries. I've lived in seven different countries. Mm. Oh, okay. I guess if you wanted to make my answer correct, you would have to say 我在七个不同的国家住过不同 is like different. <sighs> Same thing. Let's try and get this like all correct. i Oh sorry. 界界 can mean 世界 means world or like 界限 which means like your line slash boundary. Dong means lights and kong tiao means aircon. And kong tiao is actually more used in like China per se. Like in Singapore, we say lan qi, which also means um, aircon. But yeah, kong tiao also means aircon. I mean, both can be used. Door um, ate an orange today. Great. I'm actually really sweaty. Let me remove my sweater. Mm. Yes, I love the shirt. I know I wore this yesterday, or the day before yesterday, but I love the shirt. This is like my favorite shirt. Lavette, please never discontinue this shirt. It's the best shirt ever. This is the Celine High Tank, ripped high tank top. I'm not wrong. I'll leave it on the screen. Why do I have five is flying around me? <clears throat> Wo Ching Ling means neighbor. Uh Lai Wo Jia 
他刚才去了哪? I don't know why I'm scared, but I know it's correct. <laughs> Where did she go just now? There is no trash can here. 这里, 这里没有垃圾桶。我吃了太多春卷了。<laughs> That's me on a daily basis. I ate, 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 ate two. I guess that works too. Yifang, This place is so pretty. Yeah, okay, knew that. I mean like beautiful and pretty kind of have the same words in Chinese. Like it's not like English where you have like beautiful, gorgeous, stunning, you know. Chinese is just really like um, 漂亮 I mean it's 亮丽 and there's also um, 优雅 but it means elegant and like 典雅 also means kind of like elegant but yeah 漂亮 is like a general word for like pretty beautiful thingology or like we just say 美 which means pretty as well <laughs> and like beautiful uh, Love. Love. Ni. Ni. Where is it? Nung. Ni. Oh, Kai. 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 Oh, sorry. Kai. Kai. What? It says it's freezing, not I'm freezing. So. What? Yi bei. Yi bei. Yi bei. Yi bei. Do not give him too much stress. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you have to believe in yourself. Believe in myself. That's what everyone should do, actually. I feel like people kind of believe in other people when they believe in themselves sometimes, which, which happens to me as well. So believe in yourself, kids. We have self-love. Oh, I think my answer is better. It says that you have to put then it would have to be you have to believe in oh it's yourself. I mean like I like my answer more. I'm such a savage. I'm really am such a savage. There is money in the red packet. Oh, we have fun. Red envelope, red, red packet. Same thing. It's a Oh my god. The toilet is broken. Broken? Spoiled? Broken. It just does not work. Okay. I mean, huayla would mean like broken, spoiled, doesn't work. Yeah. Whoa. 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 This is a very weird way of saying I don't know my way around here. Normally, if it was me, I would just say 我对这里不熟, which means I'm not familiar with this place, which also means I don't know my way around here. I, I wouldn't normally say this. Like, this is just so formal and it's so hard in a way where it's like you wouldn't normally say this as a human being. Like, this is... I don't know who would say this on a daily basis. Really sorry. But apparently it's correct. Her house has two floors. Okay, 两层, 层, 
can you can say flaws and you can also say stories like two stories so yeah they apparently like flaws I would normally say stories I got this wrong the last time and it's said to say flaws so that's why I was saying flaws anyways <laughs> Did I get my trophy? Oh my god! I got my trophy! Is that it? I don't have anything else? It's just like a... Just like that? Wow! Okay, you know what I'm really curious about? Net slang. I kind of want to see what kind of slang they would actually like... Teach you. Let's go in there. <coughs> Jai. Jai? Jai can mean house, like hao jai. Hao jai, which means like luxury bungalow. Um, jai can also mean like a homebody. If you're saying that someone is a jai nu, which means that she's a, like, she's a girl and she likes staying at home. And if you're talking about a jai nan, which means he's a guy and likes staying at home. So jai kind of has the connotation of like being a homebody. This provisional tycoon only. Oh, okay. <coughs> oh my god. This <laughs> 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 Okay, okay. I, I wouldn't technically say that tu ha is the best word in like in terms of how um like politeness level. Like this. This is actually not very polite way of saying stuff but yeah it kind of has like a negative connotation to it and like people would think that you're kind of like a like a kind of like a stuck up person when you say this <laughs> this is so me my friends my friend and i are both foodies Okay, chi hua is actually something that I say on a pretty regular basis. I said it in one of my vlogs, at the end of my vlogs. I'll put it on screen right now. But yeah, I am a chi hua. 我是一个标准的吃货. I am a just, I just love my food. 标准的, like accurate. Yeah, I love food. And you guys know this already. Tu. Otaku? What's an otaku? Oh, I never knew that. I kind of guessed, but like, I never knew that Jainan is called an otaku. Otaku? Oh, how did I, oh, what? Okay, anyways. What? Jainan? Xihuan? Zuo? Shema? Wishi chi huo. Xihuan mei tian chi bu yi yang de cai. This just tells you what I am in a sentence. Thank you very much, Duolingo. This is great slang that you're that you're teaching people. I am a foodie. I like eating. I like to eat different foods every day. Say that the slang that you're learning from Duolingo is pretty accurate, and I, I pretty, I like it actually. I quite like it. Wow, I'm impressed. At least something impressed me today, right? <coughs> I'm really impressed. Wow. Okay. I'm so impressed. Okay. Okay. Well, that completes Chinese. That completes IVHL Chinese student takes on Duolingo. Um, I think, I think I won. But um, let me know in the comments box down below who you think won. It's actually pretty impressive, I would say. Final thoughts are that Duolingo Chinese actually teach, teaches you um, a pretty good amount of stuff. And it's been a fun journey. It's been a ride for sure. So. Yeah, I thought I would switch up my content and do some language related content and like culture related content for you guys. Just because I really enjoyed watching like, um, who was it that was doing like 
um, Duolingo Korean and I really really enjoyed it so I thought I would do my version of it for you. So I hope you enjoyed but um, I hope you kind of learned a little bit of Chinese along the way and, and um, you guys got to kind of um, know more about me and know more about my culture and yeah how proud I am to be Chinese. Yeah. That being said, um, I'm going to end this video and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you enjoyed my commentary. I hope you enjoyed laughing along with me. If you like hearing me speak Chinese, um, like this video, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!